Yo, what is good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Below, and I am back with another reaction video. And today, we're going to be reacting to Avatar The Frontiers of Pandora. And this looks like it's going to be a video game. At first, I thought it was going to be um, an official trailer for the film, you know, because Avatar 2 is done, I believe. I believe James Cameron has already finished it, you know. And um, honestly, I think the first Avatar is really overrated, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. Visually, it's amazing. Visually, it changed the game. But if I'm being honest, in-game, if it is in-game, it deserves to be in number one. But, you know, they kept they keep re-releasing the film, and that's how they got back to number one, bro. They released it in China, I believe. I'm not sure. I believe it was China. And, you know, they got back to number one. I mean, it is what it is, but we know what's the what's the better film and what what film really impacted us the most emotionally, and that is Avengers Endgame, and that's why I deserve that's why it deserves to be number one because everybody was so hyped for this film, and everybody was so emotionally invested into these characters into this story that they were building for ten years, and. It finally comes together in Avengers Endgame, and that that ending, bro, the ending, it still gets me, man. I swear, it still gets me. Tony Stark giving his life for the whole universe. Started off, started off being an egotistic, you know, just cares about himself, you know, just, that's how, that's how he used to be, man. Used to make missiles, used to destroy, make missiles to destroy the world. But now, he saves the whole world. Selfless. He's selfless. He saves the world by giving his life. Well, not just the world, the whole universe. Saves the whole universe. Gives his life. And that's why that, that character right there is going to be one of the best, is the the best character in my opinion in marvel in the marvel cinematic universe man how he had, how he evolved and how his character changed over time and it's just amazing to me now steve rogers steve rogers is is the second best character thor is the third best character you know after that character change you know he's more of a comedy act now i like i like thor and he's gonna be the first one to have a fourth film and I cannot wait for that. But um, enough about Marvel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. But the film is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it's really beautiful. All the creatures and everything, man. Just the the landscape, the the whole planet as a whole, is really beautiful. This look realistic as as well, man. Ubisoft, Ubisoft is changing the game with with these graphics, man. Look how beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is how the game is gonna be. It's not. This is not just a cinematic trailer. Oh my god, bro. This looks gorgeous. This is actual gameplay, I believe. Wow. We haven't seen any creatures like this in the first one. I'm pretty sure they're really going to start expanding on, you know, on Pandora more. They're really going to expand, the, you know, the whole story and everything. Of course, the movie won't be anything, and this game won't be anything. About the main villains, the human race. Instead of they embrace this, enjoy this, this planet for what it is, it's, it's gorgeous. They want to destroy it. And that says the message right there, you know, how we are destroying, pretty much destroying this planet, you know. 
planet that we live on. Oh my god, man. This looks freaking awesome. Nice! Bro, I'm loving this, man. Oh God, look how realistic this look, man. This looks gorgeous. 2022? And it's just coming out on the PlayStation 5. In the um, Xbox. I mean, by the time, by the time this game comes out, Pretty sure half the population are gonna have the Xbox Series X or the um PlayStation 5. You know? But you can't get it you can't get any now, you know. It's just it's just crazy to me, man. All these scalpers really really bought all these all these consoles and selling it for thousands of oh man, thousands of dollars and um you know I'm just I'm not i I'm not in a rush, you know. I'm really not in a rush to um to get the console. But all these new games coming out, you know, when they first came out, they didn't really have any games like that, you know. But now, all these new games are coming out, you know, WWE coming out. And I hope WWE, I hope, I pray that they bring back GM mode and they actually put effort into this game. 2K. That whole next gen game, I was, at first I was like, man. That looks so good, bro. I, at first, when I saw the trailer, I was like, man, man, that looks so good. The city. But turns out, some of my fr most of my friends say it's trash. And most people are going back to the um to um the current gen, the Xbox, um, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 and playing 2K 2K21. Yeah, the 2K21 the um with Damian Lillard on it. And um I don't blame him, man. 2K21 was actually was wasn't really a bad game, in, in my opinion, you know. But I, I mean, instead of they focus on 2K21 for for current gen, you know, I mean, they, I feel like they rush into this next next gen thing, man, you know, and that whole thing, you know, with the micro transactions, the VC. That's what it's all about, bro. We we put money, we buy their their games, you know, but they don't put their at the absolute best into making the games, you know. It's not. It's just crazy to me, man. But we keep on buying it, you know. We have to show these people, these corporations, 2K, for example, you know, they they give us unfinished unfinished products, and it and it shows and it sucks because we buy a game to to play a game at the absolute best at its absolute best we want to play a finished game and i feel like every year 2k they don't give us a finished game and it sucks and that's why i really i really stopped playing 2k you know and um uh i'm obviously gonna get wwe 2k 22 i believe yeah 2k 22 and hopefully it's not trash and it's it's playable. If it's playable, oh man, if it's playable, I'm gonna enjoy it. The last game, 2K20, 2K20, yeah, it was 2K20. Huh. it was it was a shit show, honestly. It was a shit show, and honestly, the one of the worst games ever ever made for a WWE game. It, for wrestling game, it, it was one of the worst worst games, if not the worst game, ever ever made. But um, thank you guys for watching it. Please like and subscribe.